Hi, you're watching The Prevention Method, which is one in a series of videos on how to house train your puppy. If you'd like to see the other methods in this series, you can click here for the newspaper method, here for crate training, and here for extra hints and tips that will work with any of these methods. You can also click here to see the original introduction video. The prevention method involves taking your dog outside every half an hour or so to go to the toilet or directly after a meal or drink. It's based on the principle of setting your dog up to succeed and never allowing them to make a mistake because they're taught the right way right from the start. When you actually take them outside, you need to give them up to 10 minutes to try and go. Some puppies aren't going to go at a drop of a hat. And if you bring them in too early, then you're just opening yourself up to having accidents. Do take them outside and they do start to go. Give them just really gentle, low-key encouragement. You don't want anything too loud and boisterous or you're going to distract them from the job at hand and they may stop too early. As soon as they finish, that's when you've really got to jump in with as much praise as you can give them. Straight away, you cannot leave it or delay it or they won't understand what you're praising them for. Uh, I decided with my puppies not to give them treats because I didn't want to be trying to fiddle around with treats in the middle of the night when I had to take them out. I just wanted it quick and easy so I'd give them lots of praise, I'd give them cuddles, a little bit of a game. This method can take a lot of time as it's setting them up for success. You've got to keep giving them frequent opportunities to succeed and no opportunities to fail. So you need to ensure that you're being consistent and you're taking them out when they need to go. As I said, every half an hour is what I chose to do with my puppies. You'll watch millions of other videos here on YouTube and look up tons of websites that will say an hour, two hours. It's just easier if you take them out every half an hour because then you've got your bases covered. Obviously as your puppy gets older you can start lengthening this and you can tell if you take them out every half an hour and they're not going then you can probably adjust your timing because of that. It also works if you are controlling when your puppy drinks. I would let them have one drink during the middle of the night whenever they woke me up to go to the toilet but restrict their access other than that. I preferred to give them water whenever they wanted during the day but I was at a place where I was home. I could take them out to go to the toilet frequently so they weren't failing. At night time, I would go with the philosophy that dogs don't like going in their sleeping area. So if you make their sleeping area small enough using a crate, which blends in with the crate training method, or a small pen, then they're going to wake you up when they want to go because they're not going to want to go in that immediate area. So once you hear them whining, you can take them straight outside to go to the toilet. No, when you get a puppy, they will whine because they want company. They don't want to be by themselves. They want to be with you every second. And so if they're cooped up in a little tiny pen at night, they're probably not going to go straight, sleep straight away and they're probably going to whine. And you need to be able to distinguish when they're whining for company and when they're whining to want to go to the toilet because one, you need to ignore and the other, you need to make sure that you are jumping in as soon as they need to go. Once I've had my puppy for a day or two, I then like to start luring them rather than picking them up and carrying them to the designated area because this is teaching them they need to walk themselves, they need to go. It's not about me coming along, picking them up, they need to know what's happening. So you can either do this with a calling method, calling their name, or if you need to, a treat. Most often puppies just want to play, so if you're saying, come here, come here, they're going to come too. And so then if you lead them out the door, lead them to the spot where you want to go, consistently going to the same spot every time, your puppy is eventually going to know that routine that when I need to go, I need to start walking myself out. When we first got Halo and we were house training him, we lived in a house where we didn't have a doggy door. So he learned to walk himself up to the door and if it was shut, he would whine. And that's when we really started to know that he was toilet trained because he was asking to go out. He knew when he needed to go and he knew what he needed to do. I also like to add a cue for my puppy when I'm using this method. So when I take them outside and I think they're about to go or I'm really sure and confident that they're going to need to go like after a drink or after a meal, I'll go toilet, toilet. And then when they start going, I will then swap into the encouragement mode. And what I find with this is it cuts out a lot of time because after a few days, your dog starts to learn, oh, we're out here now not to play. She wants me to do this thing that I've learnt the cue word for. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is my preferred method, but it works best if you're constantly home when they're little. If you have a job that you have to go to and you're only home in the afternoons, it may take them a lot longer to learn when they need to go to the toilet using this method. Also, you can't leave them in the house unless somebody is home because otherwise they're going to be starting to do those failures. If you want to learn what to do when your dog does make an accident in the house or you want some general other tips and tricks to help this method go a lot faster, click here for the tips and tricks video. If you would like to learn about the newspaper method, click here. If you'd like to learn about the crate training method, click here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later.